Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. Our top story, an 83-year-old military veteran accused of killing a woman outside of his parish home back in court. The attorney for Eugene Matthews was pushing for bond to be set before his trial in May, and just moments ago, the judge made his decision. ABC 7's Rick Adams is joining us live from the Manatee County Courthouse in Bradenton with more. Rick. Yeah, guys, things wrapped up here just about an hour ago. A judge has decided that Eugene Matthews will remain behind bars without bond. Matthews has been charged in the second degree murder of 65 year old Rebecca Rawson. Rawson and other family members went to get a dog that belonged to her late estranged husband at the parish home of Matthews. That's when Matthews came out firing and one of the bullets struck and killed Rawson. Matthews claims they crashed through a gate and invaded a property. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I really felt Mr. Matthews was entitled to a bond given the circumstances and um, you know I think a no bond situation for a, a person that's lived in Manatee County for 80 years uh, I think it was a little extreme. And Matthew's trial is expected to take place sometime in the middle of May. Reporting live from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. A Sarasota County school bus driver is charged with battery after sheriff's deputies say he harassed a middle school student. Deputies began investigating Leonard Villari back in February when a 13 year old Venice middle school student reported that he walked up to her in the cafeteria and started playing with her hair. Villari then walked to the lunch line and touched her hair and neck a second time. Deputies say Villari also called the victim baby girl and told her that he loved her. He was charged with battery and released on a $25,000 bond. According to the Sarasota County School District, if Villari returns to work, he will not drive a school bus and will have no contact with students. He will be assigned duties elsewhere in the school district transportation department. Tonight, investigators with the state fire marshal's office are trying to figure out what sparked a fire that heavily damaged a boat in Sarasota. Sarasota County firefighters were called to the 10th Street boat ramp around 5 o'clock this morning. When they arrived, they found a 31-foot boat on a trailer in the parking lot engulfed in flames. Firefighters say no one was aboard or around at the time and no one was hurt. Firefighters were able to put out that fire in about 15 minutes and there's no word who owns that boat. Some areas of the Sun Coast got a little bit of rain last night, but that didn't make a dent in our serious dry weather and drought conditions. Right now, our area is at a fire level three. That means every day, the Florida Forest Service is conducting air patrols over the area to look out for fires. Rangers and other staff members are also not allowed to start any new projects. They must be ready to respond to a fire at any notice, any moment's notice. According to the Forest Service, we actually had more wildfires in 2013 than this year, but we've had more acreage burn. From 2013 to now, there's a tremendous amount of fuels that's on the ground, and it's been a lot windier this year than years past. So that's what we're kind of looking to see the, the acreage is up. Right now, the Florida Forest Service is also not conducting any prescribed burns in the area. Yeah, we've had wind, we've had dry weather, and then today it was hot. It was I know, hot. just to fuel it even more, Bob. Yeah, not the best news right now. Get a look at this 90 degree temperature. We've got a humidity at 24%. That's a red flag warning and east and northeast winds at 13, meaning if fires were to start, they would spread rather rapidly uh, with this kind of system. Now we are looking at uh, again the winds out of the east and that east wind has really allowed those temperatures to soar uh, throughout this afternoon. That easterly wind continues uh, all up and down the coast. It's not all that strong, but nonetheless, uh, we have a little sea breeze down west of us right now that has just kicked in from Venice. We could see an isolated shower there, but we are not anticipating anything too significant as far as any uh, rough weather goes. 90 in Sarasota now, 92. Look at that, Lakewood Ranch and 85 in Northport. That's where that sea breeze has kicked in a little bit here, so temperatures a bit cooler. Venice, Minnesota Beach, and Inglewood now in the upper 70s to low 80s. Anna Maria at 84. I mentioned the showers. There are just a few around right now, mainly in the interior portions of our viewing area and down to our south. Not much going on along the coast like yesterday. That trough of low pressure, which brought us some relief, is now well out into the Gulf of Mexico, and we are looking at high pressure building in behind it. We have a newly formed system, the first one of the season, a tropical depression or a subtropical depression. Number one out there in the Atlantic will highlight this. It's not going to have any impact in any land area, but it's uh, interesting to note it has developed out of season. More on this coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you.
All right, Bob, thank you. Governor Rick Scott at the White House today, joining President Trump in the signing of a veterans bill. It's called the Veterans Choice Program Extension and Improvement Act. It allows veterans to get medical help from private providers if they can't get it at the VA or if they live too far from a VA facility. The program was first established in response to the VA crisis in 2004, but was set to expire later this year. Lawmakers voted unanimously in the Senate to extend it. After the signing, Scott said he appreciated President Trump's commitment to our military and our veterans. So Today is a great day. This will create certainty for our veterans while um, our great secretary is going to go figure out how to reform it. Uh, it gives them the care they deserve. Governor Scott says there are more than one and a half million veterans in the state of Florida. After years of debate, the Florida Senate passed a bill today that would create statewide regulations for ride-sharing companies like Uber and Lyft. The same bill already passed the House. For now, cities have the right to choose how to regulate the ride-sharing companies. But Uber argues that overcomplicates the process for both drivers and customers who have to follow regulations that change area to area. Those in favor of the bill say it would streamline the process and make Florida more business-friendly to ride-sharing apps. But the taxicab industry and local government say this signifies a corporate takeover of the legislature. They could be way too stringent and basically force Uber or whatever ride sharing company out of the market. What this represents is the bigger concern how uh, corporations in America can now basically uh, influence the system so thoroughly. The bill now goes to Governor Rick Scott for final approval. Florida may not have a black bear hunt again this year. State wildlife officials are against the idea. The director of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says while the agency believes science and population numbers support another bear hunt, there's still more work to do to convince the public, which does not. Opponents of the bear hunt have held multiple protests against the bear hunts in recent years, including here on the Sun Coast. In 2015, hunters killed 304 bears in the state's first hunt in more than 20 years. The hunt was supposed to take place for a week, but ended after just two days when the number of bears killed came close to the goal of 320. Preparations are being finalized for this year's World Rowing Championships. The six-story Finnish Tower is nearly complete. The $5 million tower will overlook the course at Nathan Benderson Park. The building includes hurricane-resistant windows, open observation decks, and seating areas that step down to the lakeside. There are also offices for Suncoast Aquatic Nature Center, or SANCA. The tower is expected to be done by early June. The rowing championships begin in late September. Well, still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, the face of Fox News is forced out. The new development that led the network to part ways permanently with Bill O'Reilly. And ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your full weather forecast. And forget cough syrup and chicken soup, how an amphibian could be the key to curing the flu. Details in HealthSmart. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPB. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wanna Be Inn. 
on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No smile. I mean, really moves me. One. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder, high performance style. Let the art of Fiat move you. Everyone loves a bright and cheerful smile. Not everyone can find the dental care they need and can afford. Now there's a place nearby where anyone can receive professional quality dental care at an affordable cost. The Lecom School of Dental Medicine in Lakewood Ranch is now accepting patients. You will receive your care in comfortable, state-of-the-art treatment rooms. To schedule your appointment, please call the Lecom Dental Group Practices, 941-405-1600. We will be happy to see you smiling again. Now to a developing story involving Fox News. Bill O'Reilly will not be returning to the network. Fox News parent company, 21st Century Fox, made the announcement today as we learned another woman has come forward to accuse the former Fox star of harassment. The New York Times reported earlier this month that five women had been paid a total of $13 million to keep quiet about unpleasant encounters with O'Reilly. Dozens of his show's advertisers pulled out following the report, although O'Reilly's viewership actually increased. O'Reilly has denied any wrongdoing. His ouster brings an end to his two-decade reign as one of the most popular commentators in television. Ex-NFL star Aaron Hernandez took his own life in a jail cell early this morning. The suicide happening the same day his former team visits the White House to celebrate a Super Bowl win. ABC's Emily Rao with the latest in New York. Not guilty. Guilty of murder in the first degree or guilty of murder in the second degree? <laughs> Not guilty. Just days after he was found not guilty for the 2012 murder of two men, Aaron Hernandez used a bed sheet to hang himself in his jail cell. It happened here at a maximum security prison in Massachusetts, where Hernandez was serving a life sentence for murdering his friend Odin Lloyd, a semi professional football player who was dating his fiance's sister. The prison saying Hernandez showed no signs he might try to hurt himself. It was a bit of a shocker for me. A sheriff who knew Hernandez from another facility surprised to hear of his death. I've always known Aaron Hernandez to be somebody who was in complete control. Hernandez rose to fame as an All-American tight end, playing for the University of Florida, winning the 2009 National Championship. He played for the New England Patriots from 2010 to 2012. The team cut Hernandez in 2013 following his arrest for the Lloyd murder. Now attorneys for Hernandez promising a separate investigation, a state senator pointing to a bigger problem in the state's prisons. Massachusetts has among the highest suicide rates for prisoners and correction officers. His former teammates not commenting, spending the day at the White House with President Trump. According to reports, a legal technicality could mean that Hernandez died an innocent man because his legal team hadn't exhausted all appeal options. Emily Rao, ABC News, New York. All right, let's talk about our weather. Very 90 degrees, just a short time yeah, ago. Yeah, 90 huh? degrees, and it looks Sunny. like uh, we're going to see uh, a chance for showers until after most of the weekend is over. Let's go to the maps to show you what's going on. Uh, we are looking at uh, basically lots of sunshine around with east winds making things very warm across the sun coast. In fact, high temperatures into the low 90s in some places. And the sun should uh, have a nice sunset tonight with a few clouds around. Uh, overall, though, we are looking at uh, high temperatures staying very warm uh, for the next several days. High fire danger, too. And guess what? The first tropical depression of the season has formed out in the Atlantic. So it's not a big concern for any land area, but it just gives you an indication we're getting closer to the start of hurricane season. And the prognosticators are indicating that this may be a little bit less than normal in terms of activity. But we always tell you right here that it doesn't matter 
how many storms are projected or predicted. It only takes one to make it an active season. That will certainly be the case. A chance of rain comes late Sunday and into Monday. So we'll have some chances for showers on Sunday. Not a lot. And then Monday, a little bit better, but those aren't all that strong either. And there could be a few thunderstorms in the mix. So that is always a danger during this time of year to see the potential for some thunderstorms as the uh, drought index continues to go higher and higher. Some clouds out here. There's a little low pressure area spinning way out there in the Gulf of Mexico. We have that easterly flow at the surface, which is providing us with a little bit of rainfall in the interior portions of our viewing area. You can see that uh, some heavier showers there. This could generate some lightning, but it's unlikely. The storms have to get up to about 30 to 35,000 feet. To really to start to uh, even think about generating that lightning and right now near Lake Placid south of Seabring, some rainfall all that kind of heading off to the west right now and uh, currently uh, not much going on right near the coast it's because the sea breeze really hasn't got going but there will be a few showers scattered about later on this evening closer to the coast due to the fact that the sea breeze uh, has already worked in down near Inglewood Venice and uh, close to Punta Gorda. Well this is a dangerous number a humidity at 24 percent temperature at 90 degrees the winds are Somewhat brisk. It's not as windy as um, it could be, but east to northeast winds at 13 now, and the pressure at 3010, and that is uh, still pretty high. It's falling slightly since this time yesterday. Winds will stay out of the east tonight, anywhere from 5 to 10. We'll get a little bit of breeze tomorrow out of the west, but not much, just for a short period of time. And once again, that means temperatures will warm into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, especially if you're away from the coastline. And it uh, looks like uh, near the coast into the low to mid 80s, right on the beaches. We're talking uh, right around 84 degrees, so uh, above average temperatures are anticipated. The RPF forecast model showing that east to southeasterly wind flow continuing throughout the day on Thursday into Friday. And then Saturday, things start to change a little bit. More moisture comes into picture, and we'll start to see the development of that storm system to our west. Well, speaking of storms, this is it. You can see the swirl quite clearly. This is tropical depression number one. And it is way out there in the Atlantic, so no concern to any land area. Unusual to form this far north over these waters. That indicates that the waters are somewhat warm, although the general trend for the water temperature has been to be below average throughout this region. So we don't expect it to be around long. Uh, right now the pressure at 966 millibars, and the top winds are at 35 miles an hour. It's moving and racing uh, off to the north at 12, so it's moving pretty fast. Gusts are as high as 45 with TD number one. If it were to turn into a tropical storm, we would call it Arlene. So again, that's uh, indications that the season is close to starting here in just about a month away. Well, some storms to the north of us, uh, way up north, uh, riding high there, and a few showers scattered about the southeast. Not a lot of rough weather, except in Kansas and Omaha. They have some pretty big storms there. East winds turn to the northwest at 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be two feet with a moderate chop on the bays and inland waters. The water temperature is starting to warm up. Sunset will be at 757, sunrise at 701, low tide at 320. The forecast tonight, partly cloudy, a scattered to isolated shower. Still possible up until about midnight, 65 for your low. We'll have east winds at 5 to 10. For tomorrow, looks good. Mostly sunny in the morning. High temperatures near the coast, low to mid-80s there. Mid-80s about two miles away from it, then upper 80s well inland. East winds 5 to 10. The extended forecast calling for... Oh, warm temperatures right through Saturday and Sunday. We start to see an increase in clouds late Sunday as that storm system gets going. There's a chance for showers on Monday. Right now we'll keep it at 30% and the models are, are kind of varying as far as that chance goes. Could be as high as 40 and it will be breezy though. That's uh, one thing we will see. Boaters beware Sunday and Monday. A little rough going out there on the water. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Now on Suncoast Traffic Watch, no crashes in the area, but we're seeing traffic backed up in Manatee County on both the Green and DeSoto bridges, although the Green is not so bad. Some green on that bridge tonight. Haley? Sounds good. Thank you, Scott. In health news tonight, pesticide exposure is being associated with about a 70% increased risk of liver cancer. That's according to a meta-analysis at the American Association for Cancer Research's annual meeting. Studies done in animals have shown that exposure to pesticides could lead to, li lead to liver cancer by damaging DNA. Researchers say more studies are needed and would provide data on what level of pesticide exposure may be linked to a certain increase in liver cancer risk. Curing the flu with the skin of frogs. Yes, you heard that right. Some mucus on frog skin contains antimicrobial peptides that can neutralize bacteria, viruses, and fungi. A peptide named Urumin specifically targets the H1 flu viruses. Scientists at Emory University School of Medicine discovered the flu-killing power of these peptides only under a microscope and in lab mice so far. More research is needed to determine how effective this peptide can be in helping humans beat the flu.
but that's very interesting. People in serious psychological distress are three times more likely to be too poor to afford general health care and 10 times more likely to be too poor to pay for medications. That's according to research published in the journal Psychiatric Services. The study found the demographic of people with psychological distress is changing. More middle aged adults, 45 to 59, who previously had not been thought to be at high risk for mental illness or suicide, now are. Researchers say many of those people experienced economic hardships following the recession. Coming up, a brawl caught on camera. A police officer stumbles upon two deer fighting in the middle of the street. Plus, a gator with road rage. FHP is called to wrangle a snapping gator along a Tampa Bay expressway. Those stories are straight ahead. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service, quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And ALG named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $229 a month, or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301, sarasotaford.com. A police chase ends in a freezing river in Michigan. Dash cam video captured the wild pursuit over the weekend. Police were chasing a speeding pickup truck when the driver suddenly went off the road and into the river. The officer who was chasing the truck immediately got out to help the man. At first, it didn't seem like he wanted the officer's help, but he eventually had a change of heart. Nice. We're going to help you up and over, okay? I'm so sorry, man. I'm so dumb. We, we all make mistakes, okay? Well, it turns out there was a warrant for the driver's arrest. And talk about an embarrassing moment. A Brazilian senator was speaking at a public hearing yesterday when his two front teeth fell right out of his dentures. Oh, I can't watch this. <laughs> senator Elio Jose quickly put his teeth back in and just kept talking. The hearing was a debate on salary and career paths of public servants. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Okay, police responding to street brawls. That's nothing new, but what about a street brawl between two deer? Dash cams are rolling as police officers in Westerville, Ohio, drove up on two deer in the middle of the street, duking it out. 
Look at that. Wow. The animals did break it up once the cops arrived on scene and they took off. Westerville PD could not resist posted the video to the Twitter account along with some jokes responding to a fight in progress. A scary sight for some drivers in the Tampa Bay area this morning. The Florida Highway Patrol says an eight to nine foot alligator blocked traffic on the Veterans Expressway around six o'clock this morning. The gator was in the southbound lanes near Hutchinson Road. FHP had the gator removed, but did say it was snapping at cars that were passing by. As we know, this is mating season. They are very feisty right now and on the move. And he missed his exit. Apparently. And anyone who does that on a freeway might get a little testy. I yeah. understand. Yeah. Well, still to come on your Suncoast News, going out to eat with your pets. One Suncoast City looks at changing its doggy dining rules. We'll have the story right after this. What Florida city is best known for space flight? Cape Carnival. Cape Carnival? Close enough. What condiment includes vinegar, molasses, and anchovies? West Chester sauce? Close enough. And now, a word from our sponsors. One off from the Florida Lottery. Now available for pick two, three, four, and five games. Miss by one on any or all numbers and still win. So many times we underestimate the human spirit's drive to recover. We often see people surpass what any of us might have expected initially. The Rehabilitation Pavilion at Sarasota Memorial is um, the top of the line. It allows us to really bring the patient's recovery to the next level. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with Mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. It's the season of savings right now during the spring clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or stop by today and drive away in a 2017 Jeep Cherokee for just $18,999. And for a limited time, get America's best value. A new Dodge Journey for as little as $16,599. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wanna Be Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. 